McDonald's marks its 30th year in the Philippines. The company continues to expand its reach since it welcomed customers to its first outlet in Moraita in 1981. Vice President for Marketing and Communication, McDonald's Philippines, Margot Torres, and company mascot Ronald McDonald himself spoke to us about the company's past, present, and future. And here's that interview. Good morning, Margo. Good morning, uh, Ronald. What a pleasure yeah. to have you guys here. <laughs> Hello, Obviously, Paolo. to talk about and celebrate the 30 years that McDonald's has uh, been here in the Philippines. What's in store for us in, uh, after 30 years? Well, we've been excited. We started the celebration early this year, mm -hmm. and we re-aired all our classic McDonald's commercials. All right. Some of our favorites are out there. Are there. I'm sure the, uh, the one with Karen and her dollar, you know. Yes. That, ooh, oh, was, and, and, and the, the funny thing is, um, a lot of the people who were much younger when this was first aired, you know, they had the same reaction and the people who who saw it the first time mm -hmm. then and mm -hmm. saw it again still had the same the reaction. Same reaction. Yeah. It's the same way you feel when you when you have a Big Mac or when you have a cheeseburger, quarter pounder, it's that familiar uh, comfort food taste that McDonald's has and I think that's what really has made you know McDonald's as successful as it has been here in the Philippines for the past 30 years uh, what's in store for us uh, in terms of celebrations uh, to mark the 30th year I think the biggest celebration we've had was uh, last September 30 mm -hmm. and that's really the 30th anniversary because the first store in Moraita was open actually on September 27. 1981. Okay. Yes. How old were you then? Wow. Okay. Let's, let's not go there. <laughs> okay. but it was a long, long time ago. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm talking early high school here. I remember my first taste of uh, McDonald's here and that was yeah probably first year high school, last year of elementary. Good memories. Good memories. Okay. <laughs> so on September 30, mm -hmm. last September 30, 2011, okay. so 30 years later, we opened four stores mm -hmm. all at the same time. And we are now proud of the new McDonald's store design. All right. Yeah, this is an exciting new look for the stores. Uh, you mentioned that some of the stores are already carrying this new direction in terms of the, the look of the stores. We're sort of aligning ourselves with yes. what you see all over the world. Yes, yeah, you'll see the same design mm -hmm. in Hong Kong, Singapore, mm -hmm. Japan, okay. even in Europe. Okay. So our designs now are you know unified with the rest of the world. Okay. And what you'll what see makes these stores, uh, the design, so, so unique or so different? Okay, well, um, if you visit uh, McDonald's Green Hills mm -hmm. uh, and you enter, you know how uh, in fast food places, it's like a cafeteria. Right. You enter and you see the whole, you know, the whole store. You mm -hmm. see the person mm -hmm. at the other, at the other yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. Now, we actually have zoning. So you actually have a private area okay. of your own. Mm -hmm. So and then there's a splash of color mm -hmm. um, inside mm -hmm. and very modern, sleek graphic okay. that really makes the brand come to life. Okay. All right. Now uh, the the stores are, are sort of changing with the times in terms of the way they look and the way people are. Uh, how would you say uh, interact or interface with with the way the store is designed? But the the taste, the service that that has all the quality that has all remained the same uh, over time, and it's something. You you can count on really with McDonald's. Um, why do you think it is that McDonald's has has been as successful as it has here in the Philippines? What are the values uh, at the core of, of the business here? We've got to credit that to the McDonald's founder, mm -hmm. Ray Kroc, okay. Okay. and our own founder here in the Philippines, here. George Yan. George Yan, of okay. course. I think both these men really had a high commitment to excellence. All right. And that includes making sure that the quality is consistent in mm -hmm. the food we prepare, mm -hmm. making sure that uh, you know that y you don't scrimp, mm -hmm. uh, and you really give a value for money food to to the customer. Okay. Okay. Also, because the customer is really the key, mm -hmm. he's the center of everything. Mm -hmm. He's probably the most important part of the store design. Now mm -hmm. it is really the customer. Okay. And then part of it also is innovation. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, these are the same. The Big Mac is the same everywhere you go all over the world. Mm -hmm. It's been the same in 1981 up to today. Uh, but, uh, but we do innovate. Mm -hmm. uh, we respond to a um, faster-paced lifestyle. Right. We were the first fast food to open 24-hour stores mm -hmm. here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. We have a 24-hour Mac delivery. Delivery, mm -hmm. okay. And you can actually deli um, order from the web. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we do have a delivery website, and okay. you can place your order through there. So it's really twenty four seven. Okay, and there's so there's some some very interesting uh, little factoids and trivia actually about uh, the local menu here at McDonald's is that we have, I guess, all over the world. If you if you do a bit of traveling, you will find items unique 
uh, mm -hmm. to that to that country in their menu. But here in the Philippines, I think we can lay claim to having the only McDonald's that serves McSpaghetti, <laughs> right? Yes, right. to this day. To this day, <laughs> even in Italy, where they have pasta oh, right true, and yeah. left, they don't serve <laughs> McSpaghetti. But we know McSpaghetti is important in every birthday party. Absolutely, right? a birthday is not a birthday without <laughs> McSpaghetti. And speaking of birthdays, actually, uh, here you will you you also note that when we have a McDonald's birthday party, it's a huge affair. It's a big family gathering. Whereas in other countries, you know, you have five or six people. But here, it's always been you know the place to have your kitty party or or even a grown-up party. Hey, why not, right? Yeah, but of course you can ha always have a party for five mm -hmm. if you, you wish true, inside true, true. the store. Uh -huh. Okay, and you'll really enjoy it now because of the new look. Okay. So the other food mm -hmm. I think that's special to or unique to the Philippines is Burger McDo. Burger McDo, and, absolutely. Yeah, and that's because it has a sweeter taste. Mm -hmm. And I think we recognize that the Filipino has a sweeter palate. Okay. Uh, we have the float. We're the only country also that serves the float with a sundae on top mm -hmm. and hot fudge yes, syrup. Yes. Okay, so sweet and pinoy. Uh, correct. <laughs> sweet tayo, yes. okay. And they actually have the float uh, as early as breakfast. As early as yeah. breakfast, okay. okay. <laughs> All right, so that, that, that really does make uh, the McDonald's experience very unique here in the Philippines. Now, uh, in terms of, uh, would you say, uh, maybe advocacies or, or things that you guys really would like to, to grow uh, in terms of the business and what the business is all about, what's in store for McDonald's? Well, let's start with the business. Okay. Okay. Uh, we, we have a very aggressive plans. Mm -hmm. So in the next three to five years, if it took us 30 years to get to about 325 stores today, yeah. Uh, in the next three to five years, uh, we're expected to hit 500 Even stores. More, right. Yeah, so that's opening another 200 stores. Mm -hmm. Okay, now on, um, on advocacies, I think this is one legacy that our founder, George Yang, um, really wants uh, the company to embrace, right. and that's giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. Um, on his own, he also opened Ronald McDonald House Charities mm -hmm. uh, 15 years ago. Okay. Okay. And uh, our advocacy there is education. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a program called Bright Minds Read. Okay. Okay. So every time you buy a Happy Meal, maybe you don't know when you buy it for your kids that mm -hmm. you actually contribute to Ronald McDonald House I'm Charities. Happy. I'm happy to know this because yeah. God knows I've eaten a lot yeah, of Happy okay, Meals so yeah. I can get my hands on those those happy little toys for my kids. Uh, it's not that I'm complaining, but uh, you know, it's, it's always nice to know that uh, little things like this uh, make the mm -hmm. difference uh, f you know, for, for, for the charities that uh, McDonald's is supporting. Yeah, and with that program, so okay, so when you buy a toy mm -hmm. uh, and you give the toy in the Happy Meal and you eat the Happy Meal right, yourself, right. Uh, you do help a child read. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're committed to uh, beginning reading. Mm -hmm. uh, we believe that uh, if a child doesn't know how to read when they're grade one, okay. they, they won't be able to learn anything, mm -hmm. not math, not science. And that's why we're working closely with the Department of Education for okay. this. Okay, good stuff. All right. Well, Ronald, you've been uh, unusually quiet over there. <laughs> I just wanted to ask, I mean, you know, you I'm haven't aged a day. Yeah, Let me just say, you haven't <laughs> aged a day since the first time we met, uh, 30 years ago. I am a very magical clown. You know? <laughs> I don't get old. <laughs> All right. Still the same red hair, the All red right. shoes, the stripes. Okay. So Ooh. what what have you got planned to celebrate the 30 years? Well, um, I'm going to be partying all day <laughs> all right. with my friends uh -huh. at McDonald's and to all the stores. So mm -hmm. I'm inviting everyone to visit us in all McDonald's store for our 30 years anniversary. And of course, Paolo, I have something for you. Hey, you shouldn't have. <laughs> you shouldn't have. Well, you shouldn't have. What Ooh. you got there? What you got there? This is a limited edition for our anniversary. This is for you. Oh, thank you very much. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. We've got all the classics over here. That's hey, right. let's meet them. Let's not forget, of course, uh, we've got Ronald in, yeah. the, in the form of an, a cute little animal over there. We got Grimace. <laughs> we got Hamburglar. <laughs> And we got Birdie. That's right. All right. So this is sort All of a friends. this is sort of a limited edition yes. um, collectible to to, right. to celebrate the thirty years. Just isn't for it? the thirty years anniversary. All right. Balance. Good and stuff. That's for you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, like I said, I mean, it, it's almost just like yesterday when I remember uh, lining up for the first time and ordering right. my first Big Mac, and and it's still like I said brings back great memories when I when I line up get my get my order sit down and enjoy you know the goodness it hasn't right. changed and uh, we're looking for another forward to another 30 years for McDonald's thanks sure. so much for sharing all that uh, you have with us anytime, anytime. thanks for this great little uh, memento and uh, well let's go let's all go have a cheeseburger at That's some right. point yeah <laughs> true yeah right. okay Good stuff. thank you so thanks, much Margo. Margo. thank you Ronald thank you so much Paolo. thanks Margo
Nothing like the golden arches. All right, up next, find out